Game of Thrones season eight, episode number one. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to the final, the final season of Game of Thrones, man. And it has been one hell of a fucking journey, man. This has quite frankly become one of my favorite, if not my favorite show of all time up until this point. Anyway, you know, obviously I haven't seen the rest of the show and there's a lot of shows out there that I haven't seen, you know, that are some blockbuster shows. But up until this point, this is either my favorite show or definitely at the very, 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 very least top three, man. Season seven, I actually loved. Uh, the fast travel didn't really bother me. The characters getting along, you know, when they had problems in the past and just kind of quick addresses and stuff. The, the, the gripes people seem to have with season, season seven did not bother me or affect my viewing experience. So I enjoyed it. I thought season seven was good up until this point. I think this show is fucking great. Going into season eight, I'm still open-minded as I was in season seven. I still want to enjoy it. I'm still excited for it. I still think I'm going to enjoy it, man. But before we do get into this, man, one of the uh, Patreon supporters thought it would be a cool little thing to kind of say who I think was going to survive through all this, who is going to, you know, die, who's going to end up on the Iron Throne, that kind of thing. You know, we got six episodes, I think, this season. And um, that's it. Then we're completely done. I know we have House of Dragons coming out, like I said, but six six episodes and that's it, man. So I'm expecting a lot to happen very, 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 very quickly. You know what I mean? The way we left off with last season, Cersei's kind of alone at this point, man. Everybody left her, including Jamie. I think Cersei is going to... I think she's going to survive, but I think she might be a prisoner. I think she's either going to survive as a prisoner with her baby... And I, the only reason I think that is because Jamie is going to help them and he's probably going to want her to survive because he has her kid, she has his kid and everything like that. So I think there's a possibility for her to survive as like a prisoner, but then again, it's Cersei. So I don't know if she'd even be willing to do that, but you know, her kid, that whole situation. Um, Jamie, I think he survives it all. I think John Daenerys, I think they both definitely survive this. Cersei, uh, not Cersei, uh, Sansa, Arya survive. I think the hound dies. I think Brienne dies. I feel like we have to have one major character die, but I just don't know who they would have die. I think Bran's safe too, just cause he's, you know, he's the three eyed Raven. I feel like he's not going to die unless somebody else comes to take over as the three eyed Raven. So I feel like Bran's safe. Oh man. I mean, they did just kill Peter off last episode too. They, they, they don't, they aren't scared, man. They aren't scared to do it. Fuck. I don't know, man. I think Tormund, dude, I don't even want to say it, but I think Tormund might die the way they teased us last episode and shit. You guys know he's a top three character for me. I fucking love his character, but I think he might die, which would be very, very sad, man. I know there's probably a few more characters and stuff. I'm just doing all this off the top of my head, man. And as we go through this episode, I'll probably point out characters. I'll say if they'll survive or not. I'm trying to just do the main ones or at least the ones that I care about. Um, I think another dragon does die at some point, whether it's by the whites or by Cersei. I think another dragon does die and I think one survives. And I think that one to survive is going to be Drog Drogon just because they've given him so much screen time and building and, you know, bonding with Daenerys, whereas the other two kind of haven't had that much. So I think the other dragon might die as well. <sighs> I think Tyrion survives this all too. I don't think he dies. This is hard, man. This is hard to think about because I I know Game of Thrones is willing to kill these characters, especially because it's the end of the show. You know what I mean? As far as the Iron Throne goes, I think Daenerys still ends up being the one on it, even though Jon is... I don't know, though, because Jon is technically the rightful heir, but it's also like there's... I don't know, man. I think Daenerys still ends up being queen, ultimately, you know, and then Jon will probably be king in the north like he is now. But then again, I don't know, because they're kind of together at this point after last episode, you know? So it's like, fuck. Man, I don't know, guys, but I'm super excited for this fucking episode, so I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hop into this episode. Before we do, I do ask if you guys are new to the channel, you do hit that subscribe button, comment down below what you guys wanna see next, man. Drop a like on the video for your boy. Full reaction will be up on Patreon, as well as early access to the next two episodes. If you guys wanna check that out, link in the description down below. We're gonna go ahead, uh, we're gonna hop into this episode. I think Sir Devos survives. No, I think Sir Devos dies, honestly, whoa. Very different intro. The broken wall? Okay. Hold the fuck on. What?
I mean, it makes sense. The intro always, you know, is evolving and adapting and the world's changed a lot, man. But fuck, dude. I, I mean, and everything's covered in snow now too. Wow, this is great. Wow, look at that shot. Is that, wait, what the fuck was, was that supposed to be Jamie? We had the lion on one side. Was that supposed to be Jamie? I, I couldn't see, I gotta check it out again. Fuck, I'm gonna have to go back and watch this intro again. Uh, at the end of this reaction because or at least to that point because I want to see what the fuck that was specifically I couldn't tell what character that was because I was trying to look at the lion the thing he was holding and the fucking person It looked like Jamie or John or something and they were holding the head of an animal I don't know if it was a fucking lion wolf or what God look at that they, and the fucking dragon weapons and shit that uh What's the motherfucker's name? Why do I always forget his name? Kyburn built? I kind of fuck with Kyburn bro he's, he's one of those characters in the show that I feel like isn't necessarily bad He's just kind of doing his thing and he likes science and you know medicine and stuff like that you know, like, I, I I enjoy his character when he's on screen. And not only that, if John and fucking Daenerys are coming here, Bran better tell them right away what the fuck is up. Oh, no, maybe it's not. Maybe this is current time and it's just a random kid. Is it maybe this is John and them pulling up it is. Come on now. Yeah. Look at Arya. She's going to see John again. Dude, I'm sorry, bro. You guys are gonna see me so fucking geeked out this episode. I don't give a fuck, man. I'm excited for this. And I, I wanna just savor these last six episodes, man. Dude, I want Arya and Gendry to become a couple. You know what I mean? Give Arya some some happiness, so to speak. Just say something, Arya! John! Man, he didn't even notice her, but there's a lot of people there. He's got us. He's looking straight forward, man. Not only that, but he hasn't seen Arya in ages, bro. I wonder how the North feels, man. Their faces are kind of hard to tell. Oh, she's going to see the Hound too. Dude, I fucking love this. I don't give a fuck, man. Like just seeing these characters near each other again is making me happy. Look, Gendry too. Oh yeah, I wonder if she recognizes him. That motherfucker looks so different. She does, look at her little smirk. Yeah, now you see the dragons coming in. Dude, I love the dragons, man. I could just watch an, a whole episode of the dragons flying around fucking shit up, man. <laughs> Look at Arya. She's in fucking aw, oh, bro. Dude, I hope Arya gets to pet one. I know John did earlier. I said it was because he trusted him and stuff. He's also a Targaryen and everything, but I hope Arya can. Look at Sansa seeing him. Bro, that's insane. Dude, could you imagine just seeing like a mythical creature like that in real life, bro? It kind of makes me upset that, you know, I know this might sound dumb, but like dragons and shit like that don't exist because they, we'd probably get fucked up, you know what I mean? Cause a lot of destruction, but man, it would be cool to see him in person. Look at Brand! Please, just the second he walks through the gate, John, you're a Targaryen. Uh, you're really dad's sister. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're really, you're really, <laughs> what the fuck did I say? Your, your, your real mom is uh, dad's sister. <laughs> or my dad's sister, your real dad. Let me get started on that. <laughs> yeah! Ooh. Oh, Bran knows everything, man. He knows who she is. The thing is, Bran can see everything, but he hasn't seen everything, right? So like there's stuff in the world he hasn't seen, but if he chooses to, he can. We don't have time for all this. Hmm. The Night King has your dragon. He's one Damn, of them. Damn, she's tell he's telling her. The wall has fallen. The dead march south. Damn. He's just opening up like that. I mean, I asked for it. It's not important. Not important? We named you King in the North. <laughs> Lady Morma, man. She's bold. I love her character, dude. She don't give a fuck. She's young, but she got a loud voice. I had a Sansa's choice. judging her, man. I don't blame Keep her, though. She doesn't know her. Or protect the North. I chose the North. He chose you guys. Who cares if you have a king if you're all dead? He literally gave up that to protect you. That, that should give him some respect. What do dragons eat, anyway? <laughs> Anything. Whatever they want. Damn. <laughs> I mean, Santa's kind of throwing shade that way without really being direct, but Daenerys was just like, you know what? What's up? <laughs> I don't blame her though, you know. These, this is all new interactions for people. People in the north haven't met Daenerys. She hasn't met them. Can try and be nice, but trust is something that that comes in time. <laughs> Dude, I, I really like Gendry's character, man. I'm glad they brought him back. Hello, my lady. My wife. 
<laughs> Last time we spoke was at Joffrey's wedding. Yeah, the purple wedding. Affair. Oh my, there's a fucking spider. Stop. Hey, spiders. Cersei told you her army was coming north to fight for you. Sansa's gonna know she was lying. And you believed her. <laughs> she has something to live for now. I used to think you were the cleverest man alive. Yeah, she realizes that he's not gonna... It's crazy because, you know, I see comments and people say, you know, they made Tyrion less smart these last couple of seasons compared to the start, and they did. You know what I mean? He's getting outsmarted, but you also got to think that the competition he's going up against is different now, too. He's not just facing, you know, people that are right below him or anything like that. He's facing people that, I, you know, are on the same level as him. And those people have also grown as well. So obviously they're going to become smarter and be able to outsmart him. He used to be taller. Uh. <laughs> How did you sneak up on me? How did you survive a knife through the heart? I didn't. <laughs> Arya sneak up on anyone, man. I want to see these two fight, like just have a sparring session. Needle. And she's nice with it. Have you ever used it? <laughs> oh yeah. Once or twice. Because <laughs> John was the one who gave it to her, right? Valyrian steel. Long claw. Jealous. Too heavy for me. Yeah, yeah. Tell her, tell her its name. She told you it was Needle. You know what I mean? I'm defending our family. So is she. That's what I'm it is for her at the end of the day. You know? Man, I, I don't think any of them will turn on each other, you know? Like, I really thought Santa was gonna before, but after seeing, you know, she didn't turn on Arya, I don't think she would ever turn on them. She's still gonna be suspicious, and, you know, she might not like Daenerys, but I think ultimately she wouldn't do something to purposely hurt Jon or Arya. Damn, they came back with, uh, what's the name? Euron came back with her army that she bought, huh? 20,000 men, yeah, like, that's gonna stop the dead. <laughs> Good one, Cersei. Uh, also, I think, um, I think Bronn dies at some point. Our queen's brothers are unlikely to survive their northern adventures, but in the event that they do... He wants him to kill him? She has a keen sense of poetic justice. Damn, the same crossbow Tyrion used? Ah, oh, man. I, Bronn's loyal to both of them. I don't think he'll do that at all. I really don't think he would. You know, like I said, Bronn's in it for the money, yeah, but he 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 likes... You know, him and Tyrion are close and him and Jaime are close, man. I, I don't think he would kill them at all. How do I compare to the fat king? <laughs> Talking about Robert. You're insulting my late husband. Are you offended? <laughs> nope. <laughs> In fact, I killed him. <laughs> oh, they're rescuing her. This is Theon. Let's go, man. Theon redemption. Yes. Yeah, but I mean, like, if he stayed, he would have died, too. You know, I mean, she had to get that out the way, but now we're even. I, I get it from her point of view, too, and I know I wanted Dion to stay and fight, but like like I said, man, um, if he stayed and fight, he would have died. Stayed and fought, he would have died. You want to go to Winterfell to fight for the Starks? Yep. Go. What is dead may never die. He's a great joy in the stars, man. What is dead may never die. But kill the bastards anyway. That was a great line, man, talking about the undead army. Oh, dude, I, I'm happy with Theon's arc he's had, man. Coming full circle. I've enjoyed it. Oh, I'd be, I'd be scared as fuck if I was one of the people outside Winterfell, bro. I mean, I'd be scared anyway, but especially if I was one of the people outside Winterfell. I've been up here a while. And I'm telling you, they're stubborn as goats. They need to get to know you her. Want their loyalty? You have to earn it. Just like I said, gotta earn their trust, man. It can be done, but you gotta do it. It's just how are they gonna do that? I sense that you're leading to a proposal. <laughs> proposal is what I'm proposing. <laughs> On the off chance that we Oh, a proposal, the literally. Kingdom. What if the seven kingdoms, for once in their whole shit history, 
were ruled by a just woman and an honorable man. Yeah, a king and a queen. Rightful one. She doesn't know you. If it makes you feel any better, she didn't like me either when we were growing up. She doesn't need to be my friend. But I am her queen. Yeah, but you don't want to start that, man. You got to earn the respect. You know, you can't just expect to be given respect right away. Just like John, you earned his respect, and that's why he bit the knee for you, Daenerys. I don't know how to ride a dragon. <laughs> Nobody does until they ride a dragon. Then fall off and die. <laughs> Fuck, you ain't even got no fucking seatbelt up there. I mean, who else can you ride dragons with, Daenerys? You know what I mean? Like, that's got to impress you a little bit. Dude, I feel like the hardest part is definitely takeoff. Once you're going and just kind of soaring, you know what I mean? It's probably a little bit more easy, but when you... It's all fucking turbulent and shit. Is that Jon Snow on a damn dragon? <laughs> That's probably what Sir Devos is thinking, man. Dude, this would be so fun though, right? Like, obviously, if, if you could hold on and get a good grip and stay up there safely, and obviously you need some goggles or something too. I don't want no bug in my eye. I've had that happen before on my fucking bike. Um, I feel like it would be fun after a while, man. Adrenaline rush. Not only that, but the views and just the travel time, man. You know, they'd be kind of their commute to King's Landing down to like a fucking eighth probably compared to horse. They're exploring the North, man. Maybe this will make them like it a little bit more. But then again, they've always been in the South, right? Like with the Targaryens and stuff. So maybe they just won't like it out here. Dude, I hope they don't run into the undead army. It's cold up here for a Southern girl. So keep your queen warm. I'm glad they, them two ended up together, man. I really didn't see anybody, you know, ending up with the nearest that would fit good for her, for kind of her style. But I feel like John and her do really well. I just didn't expect John's storyline to go like this, man. You know, like, holy shit. You left me to die. First, I robbed you. Mm. She's not scared of the hound, man. He's not going to do nothing to her either, though. You're a cold little bitch, aren't you? I like that. Yes, that's why you're still alive. <laughs> I mean, you look good. <laughs> Thanks. So do you. Here's my wish. Can uh, you make it? What do you what need something like this for? That. Can you make it or not? What is it? I couldn't even see. It looked like something that comes apart in two. Maybe like a flail or something? I always knew you were just another rich girl. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know any other rich girls. Uh, <laughs> damn, they're gonna end up together, bro. You can sense the little. Yeah, look at the look she gave him. You, they're gonna end up together, man. You can sense they got a little sun sun in between the two. A little bit of chemistry, so to speak. Did you bend the knee to save the North? Or because you love her? Both. <laughs> but I, I think the, uh, originally it was obviously to save the North because that's why he went there in the first place, you know? Again, we're fucking doing these little petty arguments, bro. And it's kind of crazy because when you think about it, it's kind of similar to life, man. Oh, is this Sam? It's similar to life, man. You know, we have these petty little ass arguments over stupid shit. And we don't even realize like the bigger picture of how, how much it doesn't matter. Not Randall, Tolly. Yeah, she killed him, man. Fuck, dude. This is so sad. I forgot. At least I'll be allowed home again. Now that my brother's the Lord. Oh, shit. Your brother stood with your father. And he liked his brother, man. Man, dude, this is hard to see Sam like this. Oh, poor Sam, man. Man, at least she was straight up with him and told him, but fuck, that's so sad, dude. Like, his brother didn't seem like the worst person in the world. His dad seemed like an asshole, but shit. Man. He's probably thinking about his mom, too. You know, now she's all alone, his mom and sister. It's time to tell John the truth. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're his brother. Shouldn't you tell him? Damn. I'm not his brother. Damn, Sam's gonna be the one to do it. Yes! I'm actually glad it's Sam, too. I mean, it would have been cool if it was Bran, but it, Bran's not really Bran, so he would have been so emotionless. At least this way, Sam's gonna have some emotion and be able to, you know, connect with him. Look at Ned right there, too. We're doing it down here in front of Ned's statue. Bro, my heart's pumping. Yeah, what's John gonna say when he sees Sam, man? I, there's so many people here that I forget haven't had interactions with each other, man. I know I'm not supposed to be down here. <laughs> John don't care, man, you his brother. Your mother was Lyanna Stark. 
And your father, your real father, was Rhaegar Targaryen. You've never been a bastard. You are Aegon Targaryen, true heir to the Iron Throne. Yeah, <laughs> dude, he doesn't even know how to think. You gave up your crown to save your people. Would she do the same? They should just rule together, him and Daenerys, you know what I mean? United as one, which, I mean, I guess it's kind of hard to have two rulers. But that might be what we have to do. You know, she's not going to, I don't think she's going to step aside and give it to Jon after everything she's been trying to do for so long. Hey! hey blue eyes. I've always had blue eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Motherfuckers from the wall, we haven't seen them in forever. Dude, Ed's gotten, gotten old, his beard's grown out and shit. <laughs> yeah, motherfuckers are white, bro. Damn, bro. That shit's so creepy out of the body parts, the fucking legs and arms. Oh, shit. They really took the time to set that up, the Night King. Fear, man. I'd be scared too, bro. I got chills. Not just because it's the Night King, bitch. Is this Jamie trying to sneak in, maybe? I feel like it has to be someone trying to sneak in, right? I feel like it might be Jamie. Yeah, that's Jamie. 100%. I don't even see his face yet. Boom. Come on now. Stop playing. Jamie's hair, did he dye it? It's gotta be weird being back here in Winterfell. Last time he was here, he pushed Bran off a window. Oh, shit. Yeah, you made me like this, bitch. But I'm not that person anymore. Brand just staring at him. Don't tell me that's where it ends. You bitch. Oh my God. Game of Thrones season eight, episode number one is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. What a fucking episode, man. I don't think Brand's gonna like, Jamie's probably worried like, oh no, he's, he's gonna say some shit, he's mad or whatever, but Brand's not Brand anymore. He made that very clear, you know? He knows everything that's happening, he knows you know people's true intentions he knows who they are what they've done and stuff like that but he just doesn't have that emotional connection anymore where he you know has that personal emotion that can distort the situation so to speak you know he's the three-eyed raven now and he he just has no emotion to it he's kind of indifferent he's just all he cares about is the fucking night king and defeating him that's it you know that's all that matters to him which kind of makes me curious what's going to happen if and when they do defeat the night king well brand maybe change a little bit because like the three-eyed raven's whole purpose is kind of like to counter the night king so when the night king dies what happens to brand is my question but fucking fire episode man we're setting up for a good start to the season seeing daenerys and john pull up together in winterfell and see these things happen you know i kind of figured she's obviously gonna have to earn the north's trust and with that will come respect but they i feel like for 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 that to happen they're gonna have to defend winterfell and be on the front lines doing it you know with her dragons with her unsullied with her armies and stuff and defend them and put their lives on the line to protect them and then they'll see you know okay they're here for us and they'll start to trust them more now with this whole situation with john and daenerys king and queen my my idea too originally i was thinking before the start of that maybe the show will end with both of them being king and queen and ruling like as a king and queen not like how it was before you know with like robert and cersei where he's the one making decisions she's queen but she's just queen you know i feel like it'll be like a co-leadership type thing but i just don't know if that would work out you know or and i don't think john would stay in the north and she'd you know stay in king's landing because they're i'm assuming they're gonna get married man but it's gonna be interesting to see what happens with that you know and how daenerys takes it like is she gonna believe him you know, I mean, she respects him and she trusts him, I think. So I don't think she would think he's lying, but I don't know how she would take that. You know, I don't think she'd be willing to give up and be like, okay, you can be king then, you know. I don't know what would happen with that, man. But it's going to be interesting to see how this kind of plays out. Four, five episodes left? I think there's six. So we have five episodes left this season. We still have to wrap up, obviously, the fucking war with the White Walkers and the war with Cersei, man. And this shit is fucking crazy, bro. You know, I don't know what the hell is gonna happen, but just seeing all these characters back together again makes me happy. You know, seeing the Hound interact with Arya again, seeing Arya interact with Gendry, you know, seeing Sansa interact with um, Daenerys for the first time, seeing Tyrion talk to Sansa again, seeing Sam talk to Jon again, seeing Sam talk to Daenerys. Like so many character interactions that 
I've wanted to see or I've wanted to see them meet back up for a long time and it's finally happening man episode one of season eight I think was a good start I really fucking enjoyed it I don't feel like necessarily anything crazy happened it definitely felt like a more builder episode for the coming ones which makes sense um I feel like there's gonna be I feel like next episode might be another builder and then the last four are just gonna be insane but I could be wrong man regardless though still fucking fantastic I enjoyed the hell out of it. I'm excited to see where we go next. Like I said, I think Jamie is going to be fine. I don't think Bran's going to care. And I think Jamie's going to let him know like, hey, Cersei's not coming north. She got the, you know, Golden Company and this and that. He's going to try and talk to Tyrion. And I think they'll trust him. And that's the only reason I think Cersei might make it out of this show alive, even if it is a, as a prisoner, is because of Jamie. But we'll have to wait and see what happens, guys. Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, also, if you guys did enjoy this reaction video, make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button for reaction to be up on Patreon, as well as early access to the next two episodes. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.